Let's slide over to round number two. Let's do it. See, see how we're doing. Straw poll's coming up. Straw poll's going up, guys. We got oh. Affinity versus Bant Walkers is what we're calling it. Bant Walkers? Yeah, I said Bant Control last week, and then, you know, we talked about it, and Max it's said... It's all it's, about the Planeswalkers. It's actually more Planeswalkers than it is Control. It's more um, like tap down. You know how we were talking yeah. about with Lyle and his blue white mid range deck? Yes. Was, you know, yes. his tap down magic. That's, That's really not, yeah. what Max is trying to accomplish here. And check out a look at this camera. The light's gone. I noticed that. It's a, it's a different. Oh, you can see. You things. can see cars. Says, look, here's a squirrel for you. I'm very I'm very happy for what we've come we've come up with here. Mm. But we'll see how the rest of it goes. But if it's your votes in though, guys, let us know who you think will be taking this. Um, so Max is rocking out the Bant Walkers. Mm -hmm. I like Planeswalkers. I think any casual player, mm -hmm. when they play, they're like, man, Planeswalkers are so good. I just want a deck full of Planeswalkers. Yeah. Right? So, like, you've seen some players try that out, like the Tron Walker players. And, mm -hmm. You know, so Bant Walkers, I'm, I'm interested. I guess you can you run those, like, Path to Exiles and Supreme Verdicts and all these kill spells and just land some walkers. Like, Gideon's going to be in there, I'm sure. Oh. No. What, what he, he was just fixing his deck? Was that what he was putting in? I think so. Just, yeah, I think he was mm. fixing his deck up there. So had not d sideboarded. And that's important to check, too. You'll see players go through their boards and check. Putting timestamps on your stuff. I like timestamps. For you to just come in here and start messing with my stuff. Ah, uh, you can take take it off afterward. You don't like timestamps on your Twitch stuff? Oh, fine. When I, on, your, on your stream, do you not run timestamps? Up until this point, no. Really? Yeah. Huh. Maybe I'm just weird. Guys at home, do you guys have timestamps on your Twitch chat? Just uh, just out of curiosity. I'm just curious now. It's interesting. Hey, what do you think about those lands? What are you, are you <laughs> using timestamps on your Twitch chat? <laughs> hey, you guys, you know you missed the land question. I didn't even <laughs> ask it last time, so we'll see. We'll see what sort of lands Max is bringing us this week. TJ hit. Nope, doesn't five? use the timestamps. TJ hit one of five. This is... I think this is a battle that TJ fights Cunt. every week. But, well, he, in a way, does this to himself by running one less land than you should. And he's talked about this before. Yeah. He loves how explosive his deck can be, and it's such a glass cannon. And he often has to find himself trying to mulligan down to the right numbers. That hollow fountain looks good, tapped. Mm. No glare. No glare. Mm. Let's keep it this way. Brett fixes the stream. Here's a Mem Knight. <laughs> what? Is, is nobody else uses the they stands for your photos and home videos? False courage coming in. Great <laughs> scene. Mm. Okay, well, a moment. Here's the dude to get in my way as I will switch to 19 all. Just, you know, like to keep track of when people said stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I mean, if you asked this question of me like 20 minutes ago, chances are I've probably answered it by now. <laughs> but maybe I didn't so I, you know, I'd like to know oh hey sorry I missed your question 20 minutes ago let me let me answer it for you is that the new Geist? yes 
New Art Geist. I saw a couple of rocking Geist this weekend at the Open. Oh, yeah. He was an angel. Here's six. So he should be a 13, right? Oh, 14, because he's going to... All right. Game two. Well, that was quick. So, Bant Walkers. See, now he makes me a liar because we saw Geist of St. Traft. <laughs> well, okay, so like Wall of Omen, Geist of St. Traft here. <laughs> it's actually a... Uh, no, I don't want to talk about it, dude. No, what is it? what's that thing called? Like the libraries use? Rolodex? Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, it's a Rolodex. Yeah. It's not a binder, guys. <laughs> Come on. Double block, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. Sideboards. Look at all those one ofs. You want to read uh, TJ's or you want to <laughs> read Max's? I'll read TJ's. <laughs> We've got one Blood Moon, one Inventor's Fair, one Worship, one Gear per Aether Grid, Nan's favorite card, one Aether Sworn Canonist, one Chalice of the Void, one Relic of Progenitus, one Ray of Revelation, one Whip Flare, two Ancient Grudge, one Dismember, one Spell Skite, one Pithing Needle, and one Graph Digger's Cage. So we have a new card from the new set. We do, and fun facts, TJ loves it. Does he now? He does. I mean, must... Oh, yeah. Carbot's not updated with Kaladesh cards, I forgot. <gasps> we found that one out. What? Yeah. Did this same thing happen last week? It sure did, because like... we're talking about Max. Why don't you read his? <laughs> okay, so we've got two Wrath of God, one Void Shatter, one Fracturing Gust, one Blind Obedience, one Fumigate, one Laboratory Maniac. What? Mm -hmm. Two Surgicals, two Sur... Ceremonious. Thank you. No problem. I was gonna just struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two Kosali Pride Maids, two Leyline of Sanctity. So, before we get and talk about what Max got going on, what is Inventor's Fair? So, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control three or more artifacts, you gain one life, right? Oh. It taps for a waste, and you can pay for colorless and tap it, sacrifice the fair, and search your library for an artifact card, reveal it. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library, and activate this ability only if you control three or more artifacts. Metcraft. Yeah. Cool. TJ says he likes it so much, he's thinking about putting it in the main deck. I can see that. It's a legendary land, taps for a waste mana. Cool. But being able to tutor up for any artifact, yeah, that's a pretty strong ability. Now, you you were mentioning we have new cards for Max as well. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about Fumigate. Yeah, so Fumigate uh, is basically a Wrath Effect. Destroy all creatures, and you gain one life for each creature destroyed this way. Mm -hmm. uh, so not, a, not bad, but it is kind of expensive. Two white, three colorless. And then the other new one is Ceremonious Rejection. Yeah. Which is a counter spell, where it says counter target colorless spell. He's basically saying, I hate Affinity and Eldrazi. That's basically what the flavor text says on that card. Um, which is a card that's seen play in external formats because of there's annoying cards out there that are colorless that you want to get rid of. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Oh, yeah. Max says, whoa, Intron. buddy. Intron, yeah, good point. Whoa. TJ already sitting with a fair amount of power on the board. Mm -hmm. Pac-Man, how's it going? Yo, what's going on, Pac-Man? Welcome to the stream. Breeding pool's coming down. <laughs> whoa, sleeping Martian. <laughs> <laughs> look 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 I know I know we've been saying hey for season 3 we're going to be on the new channel <laughs> well, not, guys. Just in. We, we are we are working our way to that channel we, we set up all the new doohickeys that's a spring leaf drum 
Um, but we there's still other nuances that we need to lock down on there before we got started. But now that I'm back, that'll, that'll start happening. Oh, the mage fucking sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sleeping Martian. Laptop, don't make me a liar. Look how clean and crisp it is. Yeah. Oh, TJ has spell scat now. Come on. You just bring the beats. Bang, bang, bang. Max is like... Fistful of cards. I... Yeah, I mean, I'd be really nervous. What? <laughs> yes, Thank you, Martian. With that follow. Thank you so much, dude. Here's a glimmer void. Activate. Oh, he says, oh, hold on. Okay, cryptic. Tap your team. I'll draw a card. Yep. I like that. Hold up the oh, hand. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's really what you got to do. Hey, Time out. slow down. I have a response to um, the start of combat. I'm going to tap your team. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's the glare. Four mana, Planeswalker. Architect of Thought. That looks what it looks like. Uh, Ravnica gives opponent's team a minus one, minus O attack. And then, of course, he's got this cool little reveal and top cards and stuff like that. Oracle text on the guy is so large it needed two. <laughs> you may cast cards without paying the mana cost. Yeah, that's basically saying, hey, you're going to have to really work at this if you want to start doing some damage to me now. Who's he going to sack? The boat? The drum? Well, at this point, I mean, he has... Quite a bit of mana, so. Yeah. Ah, I'll deal the damage. Yep. Two damage coming across now? Here's two. Sack in the boat. Mm -hmm. So three damage. Three to Jace. He's debating if he can kill Jace here, is what it's looking like. Yep. Activate Sack. Brings Jace down to one loyalty. I mean, the uptick helps him a little bit. I really want to have that minus two at least go off once with Architect of Thought, but um, being a little bit more annoying is, is beneficial here. Um, I mean, having a Gideon also show up would be really helpful. Yeah. Or even... Elspeth or something like that. Make a bunch of dudes. But it looks like Lee Fleece Bay Bane Lion. Uptick. Hey, Fleece Bane, jump in the way. Mm hmm. Save your Jays. Get frisky. Mm -hmm. Everything will be swinging for one less damage, though, thanks to Jace. Max 
It's going to go to 10 off that windswept you. Mm. He's a restoration angel. Ah, okay. Block like so. Fleece Mane will die. Angel lives. Jace lives. Oh, opting the other way around. Yep. Go ahead, let's get rid of that angel. Oh, he had no more Blink Moth Nexus left. Only Glimmer Voids. Okay, that makes sense why he decided to opt for it that way. Deck three. Huh. Spell Queller, a couple lands. So it's basically saying, yeah, if you want your lands, you can have them, or you can have your spell queller. Um, he's already at six mana. I don't see why he yeah. would want the lands, but I was wrong. Hmm. Turns out he has something else in mind. Huh. I mean, I guess you think about it like Spell Queller is going to die to the Blink Moth no matter what. But at least it can block the Signal Pass. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that Day of Judgment? I think so. Oh, Wrath of God. I can't tell with that fuller one. TJ playing smart. Mm hmm. Kind of holding back. Max setting at at least four cards. And here's and a guy. Dark Steel, activate. And yep, there's the skull queller. Block Jump in the way. Upside down. That land's tap. Dark Steel? Yeah. Geist gets in for six. Bam! First time TJ takes some damage. Draws a Blink Moth Nexus. <laughs> so he needs for six more. I'm oh, sorry, seven. Ooh, eight. Pumps it up. It says, all right, I'll put you to two. Just need to land. One more p attack. Trigger. Here's my angel. Mm. Guys, this knee trap is so good. You can run that into your sideboard. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that. And let's go to game. Numero three. Three. What do you think of the Geist art? I think it's pretty good. The new one? Yeah. It's got like a sword sticking out yeah. and just, hey, I'm a dude with a sword. Yeah. 
what you doing with your life kind of thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Also, I bring an angel into the mix. Yeah. So we got a game number three. And we, we were chit-chatting. We were talking about some things. Some sideboards. With some sideboards. We may, we may not have uh, actually touched on what they could be bringing in. I don't remember if we did, actually. They were moving so quick. <laughs> so let's talk about what they actually brought in. Yep. So, on TJ's side, he brings in his one of Blood Moon, his one of Inventor's Fair, his one of Worship, and his one of Gear per Aether Grid, and he takes out all four Galvanic Blasts. Okay. Alright, alright. I like that idea. I think that seems like a fair bet. Why, why keep the Gal Blast like... Okay, all right. Um, and how about Max? And on Max's side, he's going to bring in two of Wrath of God, his two of Ceremonious Rejection, and the one Fracturing Gust. Cool. And he's going to take out a Sun's Champion, Elspeth's Sun's Champion, uh-huh. one Doubling Steven, oh. one Tamiyo Moon Sage, one Nissa Vital Force, that's the new... The new one. The new uh, Nissa, I believe. Uh, okay. And uh, one Jace Memory Adept. He's running Memory Adapt in there. Mm-hmm. Nice. I like it. I support it. Yeah, that is the new design. Um, confirmed. Confirmed. Yeah, so now we got a game. Yeah, any anyone's game. Uh-oh, did a sleeve get ripped? Oh. Oh, bingo. Get that on your boards, guys. A sleeve was ripped. I don't... Get those boards filled out. I don't know if anyone can shout bingo yet. Probably not at this point. I think Chris Hare may have been close last week. Was he? Yeah, he was. He was hoping for something. Mm. Well, we just had we had two more things happen this week. Mm. The other thing that we had to clarify was it did not have to happen each week. Right. No. No. no yes. It's for the entire ten week season. So. Some people might get lucky and it'll all happen super quick. Other people, it might just happen by week 10. It should happen by week 10. If your board still hasn't got any bingo by week 10... Um, we... Ah, more than 10 damage in one swing. That's mm. what it is. We are doing something wrong if you're not getting bingo by week 10. Yeah. And we will talk to the players about that. <laughs> Rip more sleeves. Rip more sleeves. We don't need to. That's already been taken care of. TJ ripped a sleeve for us. I was actually thinking that would be a, one of the harder ones to get on camera. The ripping of a sleeve? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Eric Bloom's not hasn't been playing recently. Oh, makes so sense. Yeah, I think he was saying how he was trying to take a break this season. He's the guy that's always, here's a hollow fountain tat. Mem Knight. Mem Knight. Mox. Oh, oh, one, two, three, four, five. What's on the bingo board? I think it's more than four. Is that another bingo spot? Player rips a sleeve. Oh, got that one. Player dies at a reflecting palm. <laughs> Good old reflecting palm. Uh, if any plays four cards. So TJ did not help us out. Oh, because he played five. Yeah. I should have probably said four or more, shouldn't I? Ah, that's too easy. Yeah. Has to be exact. These four. All right, TJ. Next next week, we're counting on you. Even if you can play five, you better play four on camera. <laughs> Only four. Ball scourge gets in there. Hey, there's an edge champion. I mean, you see, there's there's still twenty five minutes left in the round, but like, TJ is very quick and deliberate with his plays on his turn. I think he's just so well versed in the deck. He knows yeah, he's like, how the hand's gonna boom, turn boom, out. Boom, boom, boom! I just need. I know what I have to do. It's simple and easy for me to see all the different lines of play, where he doesn't have to worry so much about what other people are going to be doing. Ooh, cranial bleeding though. What's up? 
bringing all of his friends plus his hat. Six artifacts. Mm-hmm. Ten damage this turn, I believe. Maybe not. Hold on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bam. Mm. I'm good at math right now. That'll change my next turn. Don't worry. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to play tomorrow, actually. I'm going to think about it. Whoa, I forgot about the life gain. Told you. I was going to get bad at math real quick. Clip. Mm. De equip, equip. Tap the team. That's really smart, switching it over to the edge champion there. Mmm. Master of Ethereum? Gear up her. Ugh. Aether Grid. Boo. Such a good card. <laughs> Gonna be getting those Krakow moments here in a second. Oh yeah, get ready guys. Krakow. That would be another good sticker. Krakow. Yeah. Or maybe like a button. Oh yeah. Just like a cow button. You can have like effects. Yeah. Things like that. Things and stuff. I got you. Man, see, we're we're coming up with great things that are in the works, guys. <laughs> you don't even know. Next with a resto angel. At least in hand. I mean the biggest problem is if he does not have another cryptic, like, that is a lot of damage coming across he just uh he just did he he did and uh did. yeah wall moments and uh eternal witness okay getting a little sneak peek uh he had the field researcher path Damn. land wow that's uh hey, oh! look how close that was it was only nine or ten turns away oh. cool we're back. There you go. Affinity. Affinity quick. Yeah, and I, I truthfully, I think the that Affinity deck, at least TJ's, is going to be a lot quicker than yeah, I mean, a that, lot of the decks. Especially Max's list. Like, he's running the Wall of Omens. He's running this sort of, all right, I'm going to build up for a little bit here. Um, delay you. Delay. Like, the... Turn four, he's got the the wrath. He's got the cryptics and stuff like that. Tap down your team, kill all of the dudes. He also has the threats with the geist in there, which I like. Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't really see much walkers other than architect of thought, but I can see based on what he had in his hand, like the different tamios and he run sun champion in there. Well, just just based off of what he boarded out, that was yes. I think it was all planeswalkers. Yeah. So he's a, he's got a cool list. I like that. I think mm -hmm. it's it's a, a fun one to be rocking out with. So um, TJ solid with his affinity. Yeah. As, as we've seen previously. You're welcome, by the way, for taking that control mm -hmm. deck off your hands. Brett just helping out. Yeah. Right. Um. So let's check our point stands. Let's do it. Let's just keep flying through, guys. Again, just this nice red color. I'm telling you. Big things for Modern Magic Ooh. Mondays. So Julia, Robert Funk, Lyle, and Ben sitting undefeated after two rounds. Mm -hmm. What's Ben on this week? Uh, I'm not sure. Cool. I'm not sure. Um, Bauer won his round, so sitting at four points. Tim did not. Only at one point. Tim Tim's having a rough go. Is he? Yeah, rough go. Mm. Think he brought back Merfolk? I was like, oh man, remember the folk guys and the vials? That's he was saying, like, yeah, it was real fun playing this cheaters deck last week. Uh -huh. But oh yeah, because I lent him infect. I yep. forgot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. He did enjoy that. I mean, I don't think I've met anybody that I've lent infect to that has not enjoyed it. What does that say about the deck? That it wins. That it wins. It's a fun, interactive game. Oh, yes. It's 
It is most definitely interactive. <laughs> no, it's a it's a fun game, a deck to play. So, but now he's back on the folk. And Tim is one of those players that has a lot of bad juju when it comes to his decks, especially if he's not played a deck in a while. His decks clump like no other. I, mean, I think that's probably what he was dealing with. Like, cause it's weird. Like he'll sit there and like, in the, for example, if he's playing Murpho, he'll he'll draw like all of his aether vials like in one game it'll be like all right cool started a hand with a vial sweet all right cool draw vial all right cool 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 curse catcher vial vial like he just all his stuff just like clumps up weirdly it's i don't know um but we've got a lot of three pointers um Rocking out Josh, Keenan, Johnny, Michael, Dwayne, Chris, Ryan, and Teach. So we've got some newer names that I'm not as familiar with off the top of my head. That's what happens when you, uh, when you, you go, go away, away for, for two weeks. weeks. Yeah. Like, oh man. Yeah. So let's hop into game three because we got, we got a pretty good one, I think, coming Ooh, good. up. good. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got my boy. Oh. Ooh. Keenan McDonald versus Josh. Rock 